So here you can go to accounts receivable once again. So let's try once again creating all written order. Let's go to all written orders. It was one written order that we have created yesterday. Let's try to create a new one. We'll select a customer account. Select this one. Here, we'll go to written order, then go to find sales order. You can find one sales order that I have to return. I'll select this one out of which there are five quantity. If you want to reduce quantity, you can reduce it here. Or if you want to return the whole, I mean, if the customer is returning the whole quantity, you can select the entire line. You can make the changes further, bringing the line into the order also. It's a bit slow today. The line is here. If you want to make any changes, you can also make it here. Then you can give a reason code for the return. Make this one. Then go to update line. Here you have the option of registration. You can register the goods and then you can post the packing slip and then you can post the invoice for the return order. Let's see. So you can click here on registration to register these goods that are being returned by the customer. So it asks the disposition code here. So we have two disposition codes. Two or three, you can select one. So you can select this one. Credit the customer. Click OK. So here you can, this is showing as ordered. Here you can click on add. So this is five and select the line and click on confirm registration here. So now it is confirmed. See all this process is mostly into supply chain, but I wanted you to understand how it works as well as in interview. They might ask you what are the different ways of returning the goods or posting the returned invoices for the customers. So this is the second way. So if you better understand and practice it, so you will also have the option of I mean explaining it. So this is now registered order. Change it to registered. Go back. Now go to this place. Here you have the option of post packing slip for the order. So you have created an order with negative quantity and you have also given what has to be done further in the disposition code you have selected. See this one. What has to be done further with the goods that you are receiving it back. So then you can go to the order and post packing slip. If you post packing slip here, it will post that uh, 
negative entry or the reversal entry for the packing slip once you receive the goods from the customer i mean receive the returned goods from the customer you can post the packing slip on the same here it is fake quantity click on okay okay So the packing slip is being posted. Now you can go to this one and click on send return order. You know, it takes a while to load and to process the print of the return order. So once it is done, we can proceed with invoicing it. Print it on screen. Here it is. Uh, the written order is in place, so you can close this. So to further invoice the written order that you have created, where which you have already posted the packing slip, you can identify it in the all sales orders only here again. So you have to create the written order here and the further actions here. After completing them, you have to come to this place where you can see all sales orders. Within that, automatically the return order will move to this all sales orders page. And here you can see this one return order, which is in the state of delivered. Okay, this one for which we created for DMART. If you want it, you can open it. You can see the same. Here it is, the same five quantity being reversed. And you can go to uh, this one. And you can also see the posted packing slip if you want to. If you want to invoice it, you can invoice it from here. Click on generate invoice. Or you can also click the same at the header level. Click on invoice. Click on generate invoice for the order. Same, both are same. So here is the invoice for the minus phi quantity and you can post the invoice for the same. Which means a reversal invoice for which would normalize the transactions or 
reverse the original transaction that you have posted on the original order and you can with this uh, return order process you can also guide the next team or the quarantine team or the warehouse management team what has to be done with the goods that you have goods that are returned by the customer so here i can see the invoice being posted and you can see the invoice journal select this go to voucher here is the voucher so yeah. inventory invoice at sale cost of goods sold original entry this is the reversal of packing slip then accounts receivable is credited and revenue account is debited normally it since it is a reversal entry we have the entries in and reverse so normally sales is uh, revenue is to get credited right but here it is debited so that is all about written order and uh, creation of written orders and post creating invoices for the written orders for the goods that are returned by the customers and you can settle the same written order with the open open customer invoice if it in case the invoice is not settled yet and is open or if not if at all you yeah, you have already received payment from customer you can initiate a refund or you can repay the customer that is also possible suppose if i'll go to this customer here it is the customer you can go to customer transactions so let's say suppose in this customer transactions i'll only go for open transactions most of them are open out of which here the order 750 is here then this one this this number there is a written order created for this and let's just go back and come back again no problem one second duplicate the tab so this is invoice 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 number reliance triple zero one customers transactions so okay i should go to dmart a second place dmart customer transactions and this is the invoice of 750 which is created in minus number or negative number this should be the one reliance double zero double zero double one yeah and we have one more negative number reliance one i think this is this is the credit note that we have created that's okay so this one with 750 and uh, this sales order which is our original order with the 750 which was posted or the real uh, invoice number three and 
is the original invoice and the invoice number 11 that you can see here is the written order invoice so you can settle both of them actually in order to settle both of them select the invoice go to settlement settle transactions Hmm. Where it is where we have cash discounts on this invoices actually. Fine then no problem. I'll just select this and select the invoice number eleven that we have created. Number three original invoice and number eleven written order invoice. Settlement posting date. Selected date. I'll select somewhere in the next year, let's say suppose. Okay, discount date is to this. That's okay. I'll select latest date only. And I'll click on post. So both of them will get settled automatically. Yeah, now you see both these invoices getting settled and there is no balance pending on the customer transactions this one and this one both of them are settled so that's how if at all the original invoice is settled with the payment transaction for the written order invoice you can settle it with the refund payment transaction so that is also a kind of reversal for payments so which is fitting as a settlement for the written order invoice that's how it works